This morning, I had the pleasure of having breakfast with a pediatric pulmonologist from my district, Dr. Rich Honecky. He's a specialist in cystic fibrosis and asthma for children. And it was a very interesting breakfast. I learned a lot of things. Um, science was never my strength in college, and we don't learn about it in law school, but I learned a lot of things. And this Dr. Honecky has retired twice. He is um, very well regarded, and he keeps going back to the practice of medicine, primarily because there's just so many kids in need, especially here in the state of Michigan. He pointed out that he never seems to hear anyone talking about the plight of our kids, particularly in government. Just hear about big business and tax cuts and jobs. And you know what? He's right. It was a very thought-provoking breakfast this morning. And there's no doubt that jobs are important. And a productive business climate is too. But it made me think, have we got tunnel vision? Have we lost sight of what, or more importantly, who is the most critical component of our state's future? Every morning, noon, and night, I'm reminded I've got a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. I think about not only of them, but every other kid in our state. When I look at the devastation that the Senate budget that was reported out of here would wreak on their lives. When we know that the infant mortality rate in Michigan is 8%, the 13th highest in the nation. And if you're African American, the rate more than doubles to 16%. 16% mortality rate for African American babies. And yet your budget, your budget cuts infant mortality budget completely to save $900,000. How does that affect our future? When we know that jobs of the future require college degrees, and yet you eliminate the Promise Grant, how does that affect our future for those students, but for the future of our state? When we know that the most critical brain development in kids happens between the ages of zero and three, and yet you eliminated early childhood funding, how does that affect our future for those kids? and for the state, for our communities. When we know that we have to at least, at the very least, we have to keep our kids safe, and yet you're a budget eliminated school bus inspections. And just last week, in Holt Public Schools, two tires flew off of a bus. One of them hit a man in East Lansing and he went to Sparrow Hospital. Thank God the 22 kids on that bus were safe. Yet you eliminated school bus inspections. How does that impact the future of our state? Now, 50 years from now, my floor speech isn't going to matter. Your individual tax votes won't matter. The next election won't matter. But what we do for our children will. If we educate them, if we get them healthy, if we keep them safe, that will matter. Talking about a generation of kids that's going to matter. So whether these kids survive, succeed, and stay in Michigan, that matters. I mean, really, what's going to matter more? In the final analysis, could anything matter more? So when cavalier statements are made about budget negotiations and caucus positions, let's be very clear. A budget that looks to the future but leaves our kids behind will never get my support. That's bad for kids, that's bad for Michigan, and many business leaders, even Bill Gates will tell you, it's also bad for business. Mr. President, I'd like my comments printed in the journal.